Today we will discuss phospholipid signaling in plants. All cells have an outer cell membrane that regulates not only what enters the cells but also how much of any given substance comes in. Cell membrane is made of lipids and proteins. Just look at this diagram. This is the structure of cell membrane. Now you can see here these are lipids and these are proteins, blue in color. Proteins are of two types, peripheral proteins and uh, integral proteins. Peripheral proteins are attached to the surface of the membrane uh, but not embedded in it. Integral proteins are embedded in the cell membrane. Regarding lipids, in the plant cell membranes, three main classes of lipids appear, glycerolipids, sphingolipids and sterol. The most abundant are glycerolipids. Glycerolipids have at least one hydrophobic chain linked to a glycerol backbone in an ester or ether linkage. Glycerolipids are divided into four groups, phospholipids, galactolipids, triacylglycerols, and sulfolipids. Phospholipids occur naturally in all living organisms as the major components of cell membrane. You can see here, these are phospholipid molecules, right, present in the cell membrane. They are emerging as novel second messengers in plant cells. Phospholipids are rapidly formed in response to variety of stimuli via the activation of enzymes lipid kinases or uh, phospholipases. These lipid signals can activate enzymes or recruit proteins to membranes via distinct lipid binding domains where the local increase in concentration promotes interaction and the downstream signaling. Structure of phospholipid molecules. Phospholipids are amphiphilic molecules. Amphiphilic means having two distinct affinities such as polar end that is attached to water and a non-polar end that is repelled by water. So phospholipids are amphiphilic molecules with hydrophobic fatty acid chains and hydrophilic moieties. Right? Just look at this diagram. Structure of plasma membrane and these are phospholip phospholipids uh, present as phospholipid by layers and this is a structure of a phospholipid molecule. Phospholipids consist of two hydrophobic tails, right, which are uh, fatty acid chains. Fatty acid may be saturated fatty acids or unsaturated fatty acids and one hydrophilic head with a phosphate group. This is a uh, phosphate group that um, connects with glycerol molecules. Uh, and the head is typically found at SN3 position, right? So this is a head having phosphate and glycerol group. The head is hydrophilic. Hydrophilic means water loving and hydrophobic tail. Hydrophobic means water fearing. So phospholipids are essential components of biological membranes and uh, signal transduction cascades in plants. So next is phospholipid signaling in plants. Phospholipids are the main and vital components in all membranes in eukaryotes. Most membrane bilayers comprise structural membrane lipids. Structural membrane lipids like phosphatidyl ethanol amine, phosphatidyl choline and phosphatidyl serine which together uh, account for 70% to 80% followed by phosphatidyl glycerol and phosphatidyl enestrol, uh, 5 to 10 percent. So lipid signaling in the membrane is the perfect mechanism for uh, information transmission throughout the plasma membrane then to cytosol and other organelles, particularly the nucleus. Phospholipid mediated signaling involves the generation of messengers. So first step is uh, generation of messengers. 
by enzyme phospholipases and lipid kinases right phospholipases if you remember we have already discussed in our previous lectures in phospholipases and uh, lipid kinases phospholipases are classified according to the site of phospholipid cleavage and the nature of their products so they are a1 a2 c and d that is pla1 pl means phospholipases pla1 pla2 plc phospholipases c and phospholipases d respectively some phospholipases are characterized by their strict substrate preference for example phospholipases c are either phosphoenolestide specific plcs or non specific plcs right pi plcs pi phosphoenolestide specific plcs they hydrolyze pip2 pip2 phospho tidal enantol 45 base phosphate right pi plcs hydrolyze pip2 generating two second messengers second messengers p uh, sorry ip3 and diacyl cholesterol dag pi3 and dag are the second messengers right in mammals pi3 binds to specific calcium channels triggering the release of calcium from internal stores internal stores like endoplasmic reticulum in the cytosol no ip3 binding channels have been identified in terrestrial plants instead dag diacylglycerol in plants is rapidly phosphorylated by dag kinase enzyme to produce pa pa phosphatidic acid which has been shown to exert several regulatory functions now proteins in the plasma membrane is also fundamental to initiate and regulate signal transduction events now just look at this uh, diagram i will tell you about the uh, phospholipid signaling this is cell membrane right outside the cell and this is cytosol first of all plc phospholipases c enzymes phospholipases c enzymes can hydrolyze pip2 phosphatidylenestrel 45 bisphosphate which generates membrane bound dag diacyl glycerol and ip3 right dag and ip3 are second messengers dag is rapidly then phosphorylated by dgk enzyme to form signaling lipid signaling lipid is pa right this pa can also be generated by pc pc phosphatidyl choline right pc hydrolyzed uh, by pld right phospholipases d enzymes to form pa that is phosphatidyl acid right now ip3 it diffuses into cytosol and uh, where uh, it is converted to ip6 right for which several new signaling functions are emerging like calcium release from vacuole right so pa phosphatidic acid then binds to pa binding proteins and generate several cellular responses right so this is all about phospholipid signaling in plants thanks for watching if you like this video please make sure to subscribe for more thank you